Hello everyone, I'm Laura and welcome to Intuitive Dreams. This is the weekly forecast, so today we will be having our favorite Archangel Michael. They help, he helps to pull the cards, gives us the energy for the week, what we need to work on, things like that. And then we have Archangel Uriel said that he wants to participate again as well. So we got double the trouble, double the fun. <laughs> Um, we're going to be looking at love and they said to, to split it up for like single and couples But you know if the messages resonate, it doesn't matter. Take it in beginning middle end of the week uh, theme for the week and then um, So let's get going. We have two cards uh, that have to do with the colors that the angels want people to focus on think of them like you know, as I've said in many readings before, angels can work with color, frequency, things like that. It could be like the rays of the sun hitting you, and then we place ourselves in this bubble of light and program it with what, you know, we need and our spirit team and our angels and guides want to gift to us. They said, be open to the unexpected this week and be I'm ready for a magnificent life I'm ready for your miracles today I'm ready for new things to turn around instead of focusing on the news and fear and things of that nature now um, here's our colors we have is rainbow connect to spirit in nature and this one is uh, very dear to my heart because I did actually go to the beach th this past weekend and I just sat and listened to the ocean waves and I saw a rainbow a couple of times make sure that you know no matter what's happening you're making sure that you get that time where you're just sitting and allowing that energy to flow through Maybe even do a meditation with the sun. Cherry is our next color. Live an extraordinary life. So they said right now, um, they want you to, you know, every day say prayers for different parts of the world where people are struggling. But don't forget about you. Every day matters for you. Your self-care matters too. We can't save and, and help people if we're not taking care of ourselves first if our tank is on empty we can't give to other people okay so um they did want me to do a prayer for the world so we'll do that right after this so we're just going to call in our guardian angels archangel michael and uriel and we're asking them to place us in a rainbow light shield including the red cherry color and programming it with what we need for this week and then it's going out into our finances, our love life, and all parts of our lives for this week. Okay. And now, um, let me grab that book with the uh, prayer in it. Because they said they I'm going to be using Angel Prayers by Joanne Brokus. I love this one because she just doesn't talk to like the angels or God or whoever. She brings everybody together. So her prayers actually have a power punch, I feel. Like when when I say her prayers, it calls everybody in and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> I feel like uh, energized. So this is going to be, if you guys want to close your eyes, we're going to do a world blessing prayer with Archangel Michael real quick. Archangel Michael, please light up the whole world with God's royal blue, divine light frequency of his perfect protection and power. Send the highest forces of divine light to any earthly disasters and countries to where it is most needed to help restore harmony, peace, and order where there has been destruction and disruption. Please bless the combined consciousness of humanity with the divine light of truth to help each soul awaken and willfully choose peace and unity with all. Thank you. Amen. It is done. Okay, so let's get into um, the love area. Now I'm going to be using the true love reading cards for this. And... Now, they did say single and couples, but again, if, if both of the messages resonate for you, take it all in. So our first one we have is chivalry. 
And this one was more directed towards the single people or the fabulously single. So I'm going to give you a little bit of the meaning of the card. To be chivalrous is synonymous with having integrity and courage. Who or what is a chivalrous man and how does he behave? A chivalrous male will face up to many challenges that life presents and protect the people he loves and whatever he truly believes in. On an everyday note, he is both a protector and provider and applies himself to these roles at the levels of family, friendship, intimate relationships, and community. Okay? And if you drew this card, so if this is if this is card is for a male and you're watching, by drawing this card, you are calling the energy of the chivalrous male into your life. But be aware, chivalry is not just about going through the motions. It's about understanding the subtle interplay of masculine and feminine energies. I did hear you can't be everything to everyone. Or you can't save everyone. If you are a woman and you drew this card, this card is asking you to look at ways you could allow more chivalry into your life and encouraging you to look for the chivalrous qualities in the men around you. So when they do something nice for you or you, it's like, um, you know, the secret, the magic by Rhonda Byrne uh, book talks about you bring out the good qualities in a person and then that makes them want to do things more. It amplif you amplify their good qualities and then they just feel so good around you, okay? That's about bringing those good qualities out in each other. A man does something chivalrous, gallant, or polite for you. Thank him and let him know that you noticed his chivalrous quality. A compliment such as this will surely motivate him to be behave this way in the future. And I feel like this is something that you know, everybody needs that. You know, we need more people that are stepping out, helping another person, not necessarily looking for that praise, but um, bringing that awareness that, you know what, something in our society is lost right now. We need to bring that back. Now, here's our couples card, our partnerships, is commitment. And this is about looking at different ways that commitment may affect us. A healthy, committed, a commitment is unshakable bedrock of a loving, secure relationship. When you are truly committed to being in a loving relationship, you actually create another entity. So it's you, your partner, and then the relationship. All three of these elements will need ongoing love, attention, and nurturing. In an existing relationship beset by problems, it is important to commit to your own health and well-being first. Once you are feeling more balanced, you have more positive energy to share. Commitment can be a prison or the key to great personal growth. I feel like with relationships, it's kind of like choose your own adventure. What do you want to go with today? <laughs> True commitment is not about trying to get more from the other person or signing contracts to hang the threat of legal recourse over should one of you grow in an unexpected direction. The unhealthy commitments of trying to change or rescue someone become a draining obligation in which no one can truly be happy. When you are ready to commit to your life and who you need to be, an appropriate love match will appear with a commitment that equals your own. So this is about looking at your relationships and seeing, am I, getting, am I getting back what I'm giving? Is this more equal or am I trying to force or change the person? Am I not happy with who they are or I'll be happy when they change? So those are some things to think about for this week. Now we're gonna go into our theme for the week is what can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it? Such that every ounce of you screams, no more. Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Today's action, make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all it takes is one small motion, movement, 
one difference. Okay, so think about where would you like to apply that this week? And then it's kind of funny because they gave me another theme card. I'm going to use Archangel Michael's cards. And we have make a commitment. And then what can you do to make a difference today? So make a commitment to yourself. Make a commitment to, you know, uh, helping others. Now for the beginning of the week, we have have confidence. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize I am one with all that is divine. Wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. So Michael is saying, have confidence in your creations. Have confidence in your relationships. Have confidence that you're making a difference in the best way possible for you. I do get a feeling to tell people, again... I feel like this message came out a couple times. You can't be everything to everyone. Know when to stop. Take a, take a break from that. Now for the middle of the week, we have go forward fearlessly. Thank you, Archangel Michael and the angels, for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage, and guiding my thoughts and actions, direction of love, and my true life's purpose. So it does kind of feel like maybe... Um, it may be there's a slow start to the week or that we're not feeling as motivated or we see what's going on. Again, people being affected by what's happening in the world or their communities. And it's just like, I don't know what to do. So Michael is saying, I want to empower you. Watch this reading again as when it hits Wednesday and Thursday and keep moving forward. He said, I've got your back. Now, on Friday and the weekend, we have guarded and protected. Archangel Michael and the angels, thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and graciously, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. Now, I am feeling guided to pull from another deck. We have, wow, we have two cards about a commitment. So this really is about making a commitment to yourself, making a commitment to other people, making sure that you're following through on what you set out to do for this week. If it's to change your eating habits or, you know, make sure you're exercising or writing every day. Make sure that you're, you know, set a timer, write a to-do list, get things done that need to be, okay? So with that, I'm going to go ahead and stop here and everybody take care and let's have a good week.